This video is intended to be a supplement to the assembly instructions that are included with the SS4000. The pallet that keeps the sweeper in place during shipping is not nailed down. Stay clear of it when rolling the sweeper off for assembly. Open the hardware bag and lay all the parts out on the plow box. You will also need one 10 millimeter wrench or socket, one 13 millimeter, two 17 millimeters and two 19 millimeters. You will also need one T20 Torx screwdriver. Begin by setting the handlebar in the clamps. Mount handlebar to the supports with the knobs. Install the other half of the clamps onto the studs. Slide the fixing plates onto the studs and position so the third hole is towards the front. Thread the M6 lock nut and washer onto the studs. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, tighten the nuts so the handlebars will still be able to move. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, attach throttle lever with the M6 by 65 millimeter cap screw washer and lock nut. Push the metal sleeve through the center of the support wheel and then thread the M10 by 100 millimeter cap screw through the thread on the nut using two 17 millimeter wrenches. Remove the cap screws on both sides that hold the wheel drive housing to the brush drive extension. Do not reuse the removed hardware. Have another person hold the machine firmly by the handlebars. Pull the brush drive frame forward, keeping the frame member as level as possible and keeping the frame from scraping the cover. Use a 13 millimeter wrench to tighten the fasteners that hold the brushing mechanism to the axle drive housing, and then tighten in the order shown in your assembly instruction manual. Be sure to tighten the bottom cap screws first and then tighten the cap screws on the sides. If the machine is not exactly aligned, the drive belt could wear down the brush belt. Secure the cables to the handlebars. Ensure that the cables are allowed to flex when they are activated and that there is enough slack in them for when the handlebar is folded. Position the side panels so that the holes are aligned with each other. Push the cap screws through from above. Push the washers on from below and screw on the nuts. Tighten with the 13 millimeter wrench. Screw the nut onto the axle until about three quarters of an inch extends beyond the nut. Put the cap, washer, and lock nut on the axle. Tighten the nuts to hold the cap and washer in place. Put the axle with the cap, washer, and right brush through the drive source. In the center, the tab on the cap gear should fit the slot on the brush cylinder. Put the left brush on and make sure the brush is locked onto the center cap gear. Put the cap and washer on the other end. Thread on the nut. Tighten the axle using two 19 millimeter wrenches. You will need another person to help hold the other end while tightening. Install the snap nuts into the square cut holes. Set the brush at an angle and then slip the cover over the belt area and back so the snap nuts can be seen through the holes in the cover. Put the Torx screws with the countersink washers through the mounting holes on the cover and thread into the snap nuts and then tighten. Thread the height adjustment knob into the height adjustment mechanism. There should already be a blue lubricant in the height adjustment mechanism. Push the threads through the rubber bushing. Feel around for the hole in the mechanism and then push down to ensure the threads are lined up. Make sure the knob is standing vertical and begin tightening. Do not force the knob to tighten. Refer to adjusting brush height for instructions to adjust the brush height. Attach the plow blade by holding it at an angle 
and then lowering it over the receiver bars. The bar will fit between the tabs on the plow. The SS4000 is shipped without oil or gas in the engine. See the maintenance instructions in the owner's manual for oil filling instructions and tire pressure settings.